Everyone is watching, but I still feel so alone, alone, alone. And I've been waiting on a miracle, but by the time it comes, I'll probably. Hey y'all, it's Ermina, and welcome back to my channel. I know you guys haven't seen me in quite a while. I was actually kind of busy because I had standardized testing and I had to study for like the end of the year. I don't have any finals, but like I'm getting like a lot of homework lately because the school and school year is ending soon. I actually end next week, so it's gonna be great. The seniors already graduated. Lucky them. They have like prom on Wednesday which is when my IGTV video got uploaded, so if you want to go check that out, link in the description. But today we are going to be doing my summer 2021 lookbook. It's just an assortment of like all my favorite summer outfits that I'm hoping to wear this year, or this summer actually, but it's going to be a little bit. You can get some inspiration off of me if you want. I will try to link all the items that I got in the description or all the items that I have. Yeah, so long story short, these are my 2021 summer outfits. So this is the first outfit I got. I got this dress from H&M and here's the usual necklace that I have from the paper store and then this headband I got from Kohl's and then the sneakers are you just my usual Puma sneakers that I wear like every day. I really like this outfit. It's simple yet it's very put together. It makes you look more put together and it's just it's good for summer days because it's flowy and it's a dress. There's nothing more to explain about wearing a dress during summertime which is usually always a good time. So I really like this outfit because it comfortable first of all so you can wear it anytime it kind of feels like a nightgown but like maybe that's a good thing because you can also sleep in it whenever you want and yeah I just like this outfit <laughs> this is a very like good outfit if you want to like go casual like going out maybe to like the mall or the beach or something obviously if you're going to the beach wear like your swimsuit or bikini underneath and yeah. So next up on the lookbook, we've got basically the same thing, except it's a different dress, also from H&M, with, I paired one of those knit, rib knit tops, those cardigans, also from H&M. I went on a whole, like, H&M, like, shopping spree. It wasn't really a spree. If you checked out my IGTV video, then you'll understand, but this is what I got from H&M. And I think it's also very cute. If you pair like these kind of cardigans with like kind of like soft kind of dresses, then they'll look absolutely amazing. This is definitely good for like one of those chilly days. Whether you live in LA or in Massachusetts or Michigan or Florida even, it gets cold in Florida. All my Floridians, does it get cold in Florida during the summertime? Comment down below. But Anyway, and then these are just the sneakers that I wore earlier, but definitely, definitely pair cardigans with this because it will look absolutely amazing. And don't just pair like any type of cardigan. Like if you're wearing a dark dress, then pair like a light cardigan. If you're wearing like a light colored dress, then pair like a dark cardigan. It's always like the light versus dark contrast that makes it look better. Or that's from my own experience at least, but there you go. This is the third outfit. So we got this yellow top from Aeropostale, and then obviously, you know, these jeans from Gap. You probably know most of the clothes in my closet already, but like, we're just going through it again. And then, I'm not wearing any shoes because I didn't feel like putting my sneakers on. But anyway, and I also wore this little belt right here from Primark. So, and the belt is just a little statement piece to like, you know, give off more like a 90s effect. But this is perfect for just a night out with your friends or a day out or whatever. And you can obviously switch up the color. Obviously, if you're wearing flare jeans, then you want to... Flare jeans and tucked in shirts are the best combination. Or you can pair it up with a bodysuit. I don't have any bodysuits, unfortunately, but that is always another option. It's much easier than tucking anyway. But anyway, oh, yeah. Also, a side note, if you are, you know, if you dress modestly or you're a hijabi, then feel free to modify any of these outfits to make them even more modest. I try to make these as modest as I can. 
but obviously I'm not going to get it right every time. And it's summertime, so like it's going to be a little bit hard to make it more modest, but try the best that you can, and if you need any help, then DM me on Insta, so maybe I can give you some guidance with that. And also, love to my hijabi sisters. So this is my next outfit. I don't remember which number it is, but I'm just going to say it's the next outfit. So this is the next outfit, and here's a little side note. Color combinations matter. They really do. They will impact your clothing and outfits so much. And you'll see so much of a difference, like, if you pair green with, like, I don't know, a color that doesn't look good with green. Whereas if you pair green with purple, it looks so much better than the other color. But what colors don't look good with green? Probably blue. I don't know. Actually, yeah, blue doesn't look very good with green. But here's my outfit. Aeropostale. Gap. Got no shoes. But I will just say that I have my Puma sneakers on. And then obviously the same necklace from the paper store. But this is a very casual outfit. It's good for like if you're just like taking a casual walk out. Or you want to take like, I don't know. It's just a little casual and comfortable for like if you want to dress up. Like you want to stay comfortable at the same time. These are the kind of pants you'd wear. You tuck in a shirt. And if you want to put on a sweatshirt if it's cold, then you can go ahead and do that. But this is just a very simple, casual, no effort outfit. It's probably what the rest of my outfits are going to look like, to be honest, but I really don't give a damn. And, yeah, I don't know what else to say. I like the flowers up here. It's very springy and summery. Okay, so this is my next look. These are Palazzo pants that I got from Kohl's, and then this is another top from Aeropostale. If you want to look back at one of my other hauls or vlogs that I did, I think I showed you guys what I got. I have to look back and saw what I did, but you'll know. And anyway, Palazzo pants are so in, and if you are like you, you are comfortable wearing shorts or whatever, you can get shorts just like these. I don't know where you find it, but you, I'm pretty sure you can. But if you dress modestly, then Palazzo pants are your best friend. So I got these ones because I feel like they're like bright and summery. And I usually pair it with like a darker top. Just because I think it looks a little better, complements it better. I'm sorry, I'm really hot right now. It's like freaking 90 degrees outside. But it's just my personal opinion. You don't have to agree with me, but I just think it looks a little bit better. You obviously don't have to agree with me, but yeah, it's just my opinion. And Palazzo pants, they, they're they like, you can get it in any material, so like it's pre it's very breathable too because it's like more open and like tights and skinny jeans and that kind of stuff. Mom jeans are also a little more open and for layer jeans as well. So this is the last outfit. I know it's not as like very like, you know, it's more casual, like it's the casual outfit, like the most casual outfit in my entire video. So this is just a top. It's a hand-me-down. And these are just some tights I got from the children's place, I think. They still fit me for some reason. I don't know why, but they just do. I'm sorry. But this is for a chill day. If you just want to stay in your house, maybe go out for a walk, go out with your friends or something, but you're like too lazy to put on like an advanced kind of outfit, then this is what you would wear. You can always wear like a sweatshirt on top or sweatpants, maybe an oversized t-shirt. I would do that too, honestly. But this is for if you just want to, you know, chill and like put like no effort into your outfit. And I always kind of put effort into my outfits, but like most days I don't. Well, actually, half the days I do put in effort, and then the other half I'm like, eh, I don't feel like any wearing anything too snazzy today. Today was one of those days I was like, I, well, technically I kind of had no choice but to put effort into my outfit because I was wearing a dress, but that didn't really take much effort because it's a dress. But I remember on Friday, I think I put like no effort into my outfit. And, yeah, that's basically it. So, before I end the video, I obviously have to give you guys an update. So, last day of school is next Friday. We have a half day that day, and I'm getting my vaccine soon. So, stay tuned for that. And I am starting tennis lessons the week 
a week after the last day of school so that should be exciting i was going to have them originally on tuesday but the slots filled up too quickly so now i'm doing it on friday not mad about that but like i'm mad about that because i really like tuesdays better because friday i usually want to reserve it for like hanging out with family and friends and that kind of stuff and for vacation this year, I definitely will be going to New York. I'm not sure if we're going to travel internationally. I want to go to Puerto Rico. Maybe, well, we were going to plan on going to Bermuda, but actually, I'll leave that. I want to go to Puerto Rico. So me being the stupid person that I am, I went and did a little bit of research to see what was like happening in Puerto Rico. And apparently, in the Caribbean... I forgot that, like, hurricane season was coming up soon, so, like, yeah. Now Puerto Rico is completely off my list, and apparently they predicted that there's supposed to be, like, five to seven hurricanes in the Caribbean. Like, it's more than ever. And I want to go to Mexico, I think. I'm not sure about Mexico, but... And, yeah, I'm going to go visit my friends a couple times. My brother's friends a couple times maybe because they have a pool and I don't I'm sad if anyone wants to hang out in the summer and you live in Massachusetts then hit me up like if you're looking for a friend then like hit me up anyway that's it for the video thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe follow me on my Instagram and I haven't said this in a while but like go follow me and thank you guys so much don't forget to like comment down below and like the video and all that stuff and i'll see you in the next video bye